is this now? I really wanted to play Keith Mulevo. I feel like playing Keith Mulevo. Anyway, I think uh, I'll, I'll just go. I'll just go straight in. I'll just go straight in. But excuse me, let me just get uh, a drink. So good, good evening, and um, I want to say thank you very much for for joining me this uh, uh, evening. Um, I must say that uh, I have quite a lot that I want to to just pour out. I just want to pour out my heart, basically. Um, it's not so much about the politics, but just pouring out myself, what I feel inside me, and. Um, um i was i want to start by uh first of all before uh, I, I want to start by 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 saying thank you to a number of people that um uh sympathized with me that stood with me that helped me that prayed for me uh during this time when i was arrested I must say that, uh, yes, I've been arrested a number of times, a number of times, including, you know, during the time of PF, I was arrested. Um, but this time around, this time around, it was different. It was different. Um, and uh, I, I will outrightly say that, uh, um, you know, our country shouldn't be like this. Our country shouldn't be like this, and uh, President uh, Haka Inde Hichilema uh, should not allow this country to degenerate to a situation where the rule of law is completely broken down. President Haka Inde Hichilema used to talk about the break in the rule of law when he was in opposition. But in as much as we had issues during the time of PF, a given, I mean, I, um, I, I can't sit here tonight and pretend that everything was okay during the time of PF. No, because I wouldn't have had uh, myself arrested if everything was okay. I was arrested because something was wrong and I would speak out. Unfortunately, the situation now is much worse than what we had in PF. And I must tell you that it has gradually, it has, it has gradually deteriorated from the time, from the first time that I was arrested during the time of Haka in the Hichilema. And this time when I was arrested, the situation is totally different. It is totally different. So, I want to say thank you very much for standing with me. Because really, if you had not stood with me, I don't know where I would have been. I don't know. Believe me, I don't know where I would have been. If only you had not stood with me. If only Makebi Zulu did not pick up that phone call when I called him. Makebi Zulu, I want to say thank you very much. I called you. It was a Sunday. It was in the evening. It was time for family. And I know how much you value family. 
and when I called you, you didn't hesitate. You came running. And you brought along with you another lawyer. I want to say thank you very much because you were the first person that I called. You were the first person that I called. Thank you very much, Makebi Zulu, for responding to that phone call. Thank you when I, when I put it on social media. Later on when I put it on social media because I was desperate. I mean, I saw the way these guys came. It was, I knew this was not an ordinary arrest. It wasn't. It wasn't an ordinary arrest. And when I put it on social media, a number of you responded positively. Your comments made a difference. And a number of people started calling me. A number of people started calling me. And one of those that called me is uh, uh, um, Benjamin Mwelo. Benjamin Mwelo called uh, he's one of my lawyers. Is that lawyer that you are seeing even when I was coming out. I'm sure you have seen him in pictures. He called me. Are you okay? And I told him, no, things are not okay. He too, he left whatever he was doing. He was enjoying himself, but he left whatever he was doing. He rushed to my house. Journalists called me also. A number of journalists, they called me. Among them, um, uh, innocent, innocent actually, he didn't call me, but instead he quickly rushed to my house. And that's how you see innocent being arrested uh, outside uh, my, my gate. Other people also were calling me, encouraging me. Don't fear. We are with you. We are praying for you. And a number of you are telling me, don't open. It, that, this doesn't look good. And indeed, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. So I am very, very grateful to Makebi Zulu, to Benjamin Mwelwa. I'm, I'm very grateful to, uh, to uh, the journalists that, that called in. And I'm so grateful to Innocent Piri, IP from Movie TV. I am so grateful. You put up so much brevity that, you know, tomorrow I will actually post um, um, the, the backup video of how police were, you know, dragging you around, harassing you around. Tomorrow, I will post it so that people can see, I mean, what you also went through because people didn't see clearly what went through. I have a backup. I'm going to, uh, to post it tomorrow so that people can see, I mean, what brevity you put up, uh, innocent uh, period, together with uh, your cameraman. I am so grateful. I'm really, really grateful. And I'm grateful to all, each one of you that called me. I'm grateful to each one of you that did anything, you know, to help uh, in the situation that I was in. That is not a situation that you would want any citizen to go through. You would not want any citizen to go through. You see, uh, when you, you saw how they, how they came in and how they forced themselves, they forced themselves and they, 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 they just grabbed me like a, 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 the worst criminal. Bravery, bravery. Je, thank you, Jesse. Thank you for, for, for that. Uh, they, they, they bundled me like a criminal. Took me from here, put me in a van, and we drove straight into force headquarters. In force head, at force headquarters, uh, Benjamin Willow was following. He kept on following uh, Benjamin from Linux. Um, by the way, I must mention this from Linux uh, um, and partners. Okay, uh, that's where Benjamin Willow comes from. So they Benjamin was following. They were driving fast. I'm sure some of you you saw the vehicles. You know, the, when we were going, it was like they are carrying this dangerous criminal. One of one vehicle on the Zambezi Road almost went into a ditch because of the way they were hooting and swiping cars away. One vehicle almost went into a ditch at uh, at uh, at Zambezi Zambezi Road there, and I I was like, why are they doing all this? And surely, why were they doing all that? And 
Benjamin had struggled to, to follow the vehicles, but he managed. We arrived at force headquarters with him, but they could not allow him inside. When we went inside now, the torture started. This man came in, that man, Mr. Mwala Yui. He came and it was, it was just something else. I don't know what problem that man has because really the hunger that he has in himself, I don't think it was about me. I don't think it was about me because when you look at a person, the hunger that he was unleashing on me, I don't think that hunger was about me. Because honestly, I mean, I don't even know that man. What wrong have I done or did I do for him to be so upset to be slapping the hell out of me? What, 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 what did I commit? What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Even HH, when I talk about HH here, I don't talk about HH as a person. I talk at President Hakainde Ichilema as a president. And for me, I don't even talk about him so disrespectful like he used to do to President uh, uh, Edgar Lungu. Me, I recognize him as a Republican president. And I give him that respect. I only talk about issues that I think he's not doing right as a president. And this brings me to even the issue of some of the people that say, hey, no, you can't fight a government. You are fighting a government. I am not fighting a government. I am not fighting a government. I am not at war with the government. Get this clear. Get this clearly. I am not at war with this government. No, I am not at war. I am not at war with President Haka in the HLM. I am not. So, the, 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 the brutality that was unleashed on me was totally unnecessary. Totally unnecessary. I keep saying, I mean, you can call me. You can send a call out. You can just call me, come. Why did you, why did the police have to do all that? All that hula balu for what? But I did understand when I saw the emotions of that, uh, that officer, 2033, that officer number 2033, Mwala Yui, I could understand why it was all like that. That man was promoted to the position where he is. But I'm telling you, that man doesn't deserve to be in that office. He doesn't deserve to be in that office. He doesn't deserve all those responsibilities that he has been given. And I checked, sorry to say, I even checked. Easy profile academically. Come on. There are far much more junior, junior officers who are more qualified than him. Far much more junior officers. The man, I mean, even from on paper, his CV, it doesn't fit what is attached to the positions that he has. And these are some of the things that we are, where we are talking about this tribalism. It is about tribalism because he's lousy. And I know he's highly connected with uh, the Deputy Inspector General, uh, uh, Mr. Siandenge, at State House. That is what gives him that power. That is what gives him that power where he thinks that he can do whatever he wants. Where he thinks he can slap at you, he can hit you at will. He was even telling me, he was even taunting me and teasing me. Me, I'm not known. Me, me, you don't know me. Do you know me? Eh? Where is your Makebi Zulu? Eh? Makebi Zulu and Zoku Manjari Kutiapa. Apa, a follower no follower. Eh? He's even snoring. Your, your lawyer, Makebi Zulu, is even snoring. And he's beating me up. Call Makebi Zulu. You were bragging there with him. Makebi Zulu and Zoku He was making you stupid. Now, where is he? You are here now, you are dancing. Eh? You will dance. My hands, he was showing me my hands, these hands. They, they are meant to beat drums. And you will dance to my drums. He was the Alpha and Omega before me. 
And believe you me, yes, people you say yes, you are courageous and everything. I mean, every human being before a situation like that, you get scared. But of course, I held my guns because I knew I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. You can say whatever you want. I didn't do anything wrong. I have been arrested so many times, but I've committed no crime. I have committed no crime. I have committed no crime. I've been arrested so many times, but the only case that is in court today, the only case that is in court today, it's that case, a fabricated case of assault. A fabricated case, a trumped up charge of assault. That is the only case that is in court. All these other cases that some of you, even some of you experts came up, no, you are going in jail for life and whatever, whatever, they are not in court and they will not go to court. They will not go to court. Not even this issue that you are talking about of gassing. No, you spoke about gassing. How many times did Waka in the HDMI talk about gassing? Claiming he knows people who were, con who were doing gassing. Are you telling me we will want us to go to court and me bring out videos because there are a number of videos where Bahaka Inde Ichilema used to talk about gassing. Claiming he knows where Bahaka Inde Ichilema was accusing others and he was accusing the state. He was accusing the state and if we like, I mean, if Bahaka Inde Ichilema is saying that it is a state that, was, that did gassing, He's the one in, in government now. He's the state now. So there is, there is nothing to be excited about. Even you press singers, if you are to be reasonable and objective, you would not find a case. I, I have no case. I can assure you I have no case. There is no case I have not committed any crime against the state, against Waka in the Ichinema. I have never. I have never. What I talk about is the truth. What I talk about is the truth. And this is why you don't respond to me. Those that I talk about, they don't respond to me with facts. Because you see, when somebody is lying, what you do is to come with the facts and the truth to say, look, this is what you are saying. But the facts are these. This is what you are saying, but these are the facts. Contrary to what you said, that is, that is the way, you know, a discourse should go in a democracy. You bring out an issue where you are not, where you are not truthful. Others will come with the facts and say, look, this is, these are the facts. But you never respond to my issues. You never respond to my issues with facts. Instead, when I talk about some of these issues, you come up and say, hey, ni wamusha ni nawali. Eh? Ni wamusha ni nawali. Hey, you are doing this to be paid. I want to tell you, I, uh, no one pays to the tayari. No one pays to the tayari. And my friends in PF, at least they know me that. Because it doesn't matter what you give me, even if you help me, that will not change. That will not change my position. That will not change my position. I stand my position. And I can be stubborn on what I stand on. Until I am convinced otherwise. If I'm not convinced otherwise, I will stand on my position. I posted here, I said, you know, I said, uh, um, we need air elections. And Mundubide must come in. And others were responding to say, no, don't just talk about Mundubide. There were so many other people that helped you. True, true. There were so many people that helped me during this time. Pres presidents. Kia. Kia, I'm busy. I'm busy, baby. I'm busy, baby. I'm, hmm? I'm busy. You go and wash your mouth. I blow this. Okay. I'll, I'll blow it later, okay, baby? Okay? You go and wash your mouth, okay? Hey, Kia in this house is uh, is like he, my only friend, so I don't have to make her upset. 
uh, a lot of people are not so happy with me and Kia with her innocence and love for her. So when she calls, I have to respond. But anyway, the point is that, you see, I mentioned, I mentioned Mundubida and others were saying, no, don't, yeah, Kia, sorry, I'm busy, baby. Okay? I'll come, okay? Yeah. So, people are saying, no, no, no. There are many people that, that supported you. Uh, uh, why are you just talking about Mundubide? Look, I'll be very honest with you. My support for Mundubide has not started today. My support for Mundubide has not started today. I have declared that for me among the presidential candidates, I'm supporting Mundubide. And yes, it is true. Other presidents, including presidential candidates, they came to see me. Peer presidential candidates, they came to see me. But you see, all I can do is to appreciate, and I really appreciate them. I appreciate each one of them that came to see me. I appreciate each one of them that came to see me. And really, it is showing this unity that we are trying to, uh, you know, to build among opposition political party leaders. But you see, the point I'm trying to make is that you, it's not that because somebody has helped you, then you should, uh -uh, that's not the way I operate. That is not the way I operate. And even if Mundubira didn't show up, I would still stand, I would still be here and saying this is the man I support. And I've given my reasons why I support Mundubira. I've given my reasons. So it is not that because somebody does me a favor and then I'll support them politically. Deform bomba. That is not the way I operate. That is not the way I operate. And I want everybody to know that my, my support politically is not based on the benefits that I get from whoever. No, it's not about that. It's not about that. It's not about that. And don't think that I come here to speak what I say so that somebody can pay me. Don't make that mistake. I struggle. Here in this house, I struggle to make ends meet. I struggle. Of course, I'm not badly off. I, I manage. I mean, I'm sure. I mean, my life, I mean, is far much better than, than many people. That's for sure. But of course, I struggle at my, at my level as well. I struggle at my level. But don't ever think that I come here to speak because somebody has paid me. And I, I don't want young people to be misled because when you see some of these comments, you might think that, yes, when Tayali is talking, somebody is paying. And you also start talking and thinking that somebody will pay. Uh -uh. It doesn't work out like that. It doesn't work out like that. If you want to talk, measure, you know, consider a number of factors, but certainly don't think that when you start talking and think, yo, oh, Chirifatari is driving a Hilux because he talks. That's why he's driving a Hilux. No, it is not like that. It is not like that. So I don't speak for anyone. I don't speak for anyone. I speak for myself. I speak for myself I mean, I speak out of conviction. If I'm not convinced about anything, I will not talk about it. I will not talk about it. So when I talk, when I'm talking against some of the things that are happening, Kuriwa UPND, or what Waka Inde Ichilema is doing, please respond to me on, based on the things that I bring about. Respond to me on those issues that I'm talking about. Don't tell me I'm insulting the president when I've not insulted him. I don't insult. I don't insult President Haka Inde Ichilem. I am one of the sober politicians in terms of the language that I use. Yes, I can be blunt. Blunt I am. But insulting? No, I don't insult. So don't tell me when I challenge Haka Inde Ichilema. I know you are insulting the president. No, I'm not insulting the president. I'm respect, respectful of the president. I'm respectful of the president. So I have not committed anything that you can point at to say, this is a crime that you have committed. I have not committed any crime. 
Even the cases, the so many times that have been arrested, we can run through them one by one. One by one. You will not be able to convict me. I even say it, that we can even go to court. We go to court, you will never convict me on those issues that I've been arrested for. I am arrested because people want to gag me. People don't want me to talk. That is why you arrest me. Mr. Yuhi was beating me not because I had committed a crime. Mr. Yuhi was beating me because he doesn't want me to talk. Mr. Yuhi is enjoying himself. He has got this seat, these positions that he has been given. He's director of investigations. So he's enjoying as a police officer. He's enjoying. I'm sure he has got a good salary. He has got a vehicle. He has got these police officers around him. But, Imwewa Ayuyi, you are privileged. You are lucky. You are enjoying in police. But many police officers are not enjoying like you. Many police officers are not enjoying like you. But you don't want me to talk for them. Those police officers, Balabale Misaliuti Lava Ayuyi, those who are saluting for you, those police officers who are outside, those police officers who are driving you, you can't tell me that those police officers are happy. They are not happy. They are not happy, Wayuyi. They are not happy. They don't have a life that you have. You are enjoying under the leadership of President Haka Inde Ichirema. You have been promoted to, to where you are. But as far as I'm concerned, you don't even deserve that promotion that you, that you have. You don't. In a government that is really following a, 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 merit, a, merit, a, a meritorious, a meritorious government, you would never be in that position. You would never be in that position. I am sure even the one who is deputizing you, Timba, must be more educated than you. I'm sure because Timba has been in, at crime one. Timba has been at crime one and I've been arrested a number of times. I have never suffered what I, I've never gone through what I went through with you. You just came in as director. There was Mwanza there. We didn't have this kind of nonsense that you have brought. We didn't have it. But you, because you are connected to Vasyandenge, Vasyandenge, who is now like a defuncto IG. Vasyandenge has more powers than even the IG. And you think you can do whatever you want. No, we are human beings, Vamdala. We are human beings with rights. And this country has laws. And even you as a police officer, you have got, you know, the way that you have got a code of conduct. You are supposed to be professional. You are, it, it is very disappointing. And I'm talking about you like this. And I will, I'm not ending here. I'm not ending here. I will do whatever I can in my, in my smallness. Because you reduced me so much. That I'm nothing. Yes. In my nothingness. But you, I'm not stopping. I am not ending on this one. I will follow it up. I'm going to lay a complaint against you for assault. I'm going to lay a complaint against you for assault. If me, who doesn't even know how I committed the assault, is in court for assault. Me, who doesn't even know how I committed that assault. It's like a dream that I'm being told that you assaulted a police officer. And I'm in court. If me, who doesn't know how I committed that assault, I am in court. What about you? What about you who deliberately and decided to torture me? Why shouldn't you be in court? What's so special about you? Your connection to state house should make you above the law? No. No. I am going to fight it. Today, I didn't do so much because honestly, I didn't have money to organize some of these things. But tomorrow, I'm hoping I will have a little bit of money. And I will, I will make sure I, I, I exhaust all the possible means available to a citizen to fight 
and professional police officers like you, brutal police officers like you, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you. If it was a junior officer, I would at least understand. But you, a position of a director at deputy commissioner, behaving like that? Because if you can behave like that at your level, where are we going to go? What will happen to the junior officers? This is why I see police uh, people being beaten, you know, in, in police cells. In police cells, we have a number of people that are beaten. Even this time around, where I was at Musamba there, there was a boy who was beaten. Who was beaten? Each time I go myself, I find people who are beaten. This Campelwa thing of putting, you know, where they put a, they put a bar here and they lock you up with, with the whatever. It is still happening. Thank you by Human Rights Commission for coming to see me. Thank you by Human Rights for coming to see me. But, but, I don't think you are doing a good job. I'm sorry to say this. Thank you, you came to see me. But I will not, I will not be blinded or I will not compromise my position. My position because you came to see me. I appreciate you came to see me, but human rights, you are not doing a good job. Because if the, we had human rights organizations, if we had human rights commissions, we would not have the ordeal that is in our cells. I can challenge anyone today, even now I can challenge anyone to go to any of these police officer uh, uh, cells. You will find people that are, that are there who are overstayed. Four months, six months, they are there. Being beaten, badly beaten, people are nursing sores, wounds in the police cells. In the police cells right now, they are there. And you are human rights. If really you were doing your job, at least the situation would not be as bad. And I want to tell you that me, I thank God that I was arrested during the time of PF. And now it is worse. The situation in PF is not what it is now. Now it is bad. It is really, really bad. Our cells are full. Our cells are full in our human rights. Go to, go to Cheston Police now. Go to Cheston Police. Go to uh, Kanyama. Go to Central Police. Go to where I was in Chilanga. Go to Chilanga right now, right now. Go to Chilanga. It is an ISO. It is an ISO. And surely, if you people, the human rights, you are there getting paid. You are there, you know, claiming to be human rights. Surely, the situation as it is, is terrible. I am very disappointed with that other human rights director. Eh? At Shani, Mu... Mu, mu, um, ma, what is that? What is his name? The, the other human rights, we have a human rights organization, an NGO. An NGO. Uh, is it? Mm. The name is going. The name is going, but it's a Tonga man. It's a Tonga name. This man, I think it was on, on a Friday, I heard his statement on radio. He was saying, no, uh, the human rights problems is because of lack of employment. That is a problem. But human rights now, they are better than we had in PF. And I was like, this man, is he a civil activist, a human rights activist, or a politician? And me, who has had an opportunity of being myself, Muliba PF, Nanomba, I couldn't believe hearing this man. I almost broke my radio when I heard his voice. I almost broke my radio. Because, come on, why have all these civil societies become so political? The civil societies in this country have become so political, including the church. 
They have become so political. They have become so political. They were busy talking. They were busy talking during the time of PF. Now, whenever they are given an opportunity to give a statement, they compromise. Why are you compromising? Why are you compromising? Why are you lying? Why are you lying that things are better when things have become worse in this government? I am not talking out of the head of Haka in the HLM. I'm telling you my experience. I go Muma cells every, every, every other time. And what I find there, it's an ISO. So why are you compromising? Why are you pretending that things are better now when the reality is showing something else? Who are you trying to impress? Who are you trying to impress? Are you looking for jobs from Haka in the HLMA? Are you looking for fav favors from Haka in the HLMA? Where are you? Baba Nanikani, Valinda Kasonde. Eh? Valinda Kasonde. Valinda Kasonde with the, her organization at the at, uh, uh, chapter, uh, uh, chapter One Foundation. But Linda Kasonde, every other day you were on radio, you were in the papers, especially news diggers, making statements, condemning this, condemning that, condemning that. Ever since Akainde Ichilema came in, Mwali Shima, you have gone quiet. The only time we heard a statement is when you, you, were, you were trying to support the agenda of Akainde Ichilema. President Akainde Ichilema has an agenda to prosecute President Edgar Lungu. President Haka Inde Ichilema has an agenda to prosecute Edgar Lungu. He has an agenda. Because he has failed to rule this country and he has seen how people are speaking good of Haka Inde Ichilema, including Sia Wan, including Bamamachika Moneka, including other UPND cadres. Because he has seen that people are regretting putting him in power. Haka Inde Ichilema has a, an agenda to verify President Edgar Chagwalungu. He has an agenda. He wants to verify, he wants to bring, he wants to make a, a people hate Edgar Lungu. He wants to bring out something, some rot. They have searched, searched everywhere. They have found nothing. They have found nothing. And you know now where they want to view the case? Which is why you saw Linda Kasonde coming out talking. To say no, the, the immunity of a president is only in prosecution. But not in investigation. Because they have an agenda. And they didn't want me to talk about this. That's why they came on a Sunday. That Sunday when they came, when you saw them desperate to pick me from here, that agenda was me not talking about the ploy to have Edgar Lungu prosecuted. That is what it was about. They picked it up that I knew what is currently going on. And I will, I will break it down. I will explain to you. I will explain to you. And when I explain, when I talk about this, I don't want to, you to respond to me with insults. Uh -uh. I don't want you to respond to me with insults. I don't want you to respond to me to say, no, Edgar Lungu na kupero lupia. Edgar Lungu has given you money. Edgar Lungu is funding you. Because where I am, I've got so many problems. And I really wish, you know, even that Edgar Lungu would actually sponsor me. But he's not sponsoring me. Yes, I do talk to him. But, I mean, even the money that you talk about, I don't even see it. I don't. Because, I mean, that man, at the moment, he has so many people. You know, those poor people, some chiefs who are going to him, some church who are going to him for help. Those are the people that is helping. Edgar Lungu has refused to do anything with politics. He has refused to help even, even PF, PF itself. 
I can tell you that. I can tell you that BF has been having elections. Go and check if the Edgar Lungu has, has con contributed even one pin for the by-election that has been going on. And I'm sorry, my Edgar Lungu, I'm not trying to embarrass you, but I'm speaking facts. I'm, I'm speaking facts. If I can speak facts about uh, HH, I should speak facts about you as well. So the point is, the point is that I'm, me, I am self-motivated. I speak what I'm convinced about. That's all. I speak what I've seen, what I've heard. And right now, I am challenging him. If it is not true that he has an agenda to prosecute President Edgar Lungu, let him issue a statement. He's a president. He has got his spokesperson, Anthony Gualia, who is doing very little. At least he can make him useful by issuing a statement that is not prosecuting is not fighting to prosecute he hasn't he doesn't have an agenda to prosecute edgar lungu let him respond umwaiche anton is doing nothing he's really doing nothing he can be useful let him issue a statement we have got wakasanda eh she's busy you know with her husband looking into the fertilizer issue but i'm sure she can do this don't respond to me by insulting me. Don't respond to me by sending police officers to me. Uh-uh. That is not the way we do it in politics. In politics, I come up with something, come out with the, the different view. That is politics. To say, no, no, this is what, no, you are saying this, but this is our position. But as far as I'm concerned, I have got reliable information that Vaaka in the Ichilema, has started a process to remove the immunity of Vaed Galungu with the intention of making, you know, to verify him so that people can hate him. His jealousy because he has failed to match up with what Ed Galungu did. He was every day criticizing him and so on and so forth. But he has failed to do what Ed Galungu did. And so what has he decided? He has decided to now launch an attack on Ed Galungu. He has decided to launch an attack on Ed Galungu and everybody around Ed Galungu. This is why you saw though that cowboy going to swear a, an avidavit to go and search Ed Galungu's accounts. They are not only searching accounts, they have gone everywhere. They have even gone to South Africa. They have even gone to South Africa to look for information to implicate Ed Galungu. They want to verify Ed Galungu. They want people to shift their attention from all these failures of Vaaka in the And this is why you saw people like Linda Kasonde coming out to say, no, 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 it's okay. When did, when did you last hear Linda Kasonde talking? When did you last hear Linda Kasonde talking? How come she came up and she's talking? Because this is the agenda that they have. They want to fuse it in. I don't know. I just came out to Mukot yesterday. But by Sunday, there are people who are gathered at a named hotel. I will not mention the hotel because the hotel is innocent. I will not drag the hotel into, into politics. The hotel is innocent. They are doing business. But you can tell which hotel I'm talking about. It is a new hotel which is near a crossroads. A hotel that is near crossroads. At that hotel, as at on Sunday, there were people that were lodged in that hotel. They have built a team of a number of so-called investigators and they have lodged them at that hotel they are staying there their mission is to build a case against Ed Galungu that is their mission they are there unless otherwise but at least on by Sunday by Sunday I went there I went there and I confirmed those people are there. And these people, 
these people. I, I want you to open your eyes. I want you to open your eyes and I want what I'm saying here. I don't want police to arrest me. I want you to respond. If I'm lying, respond if I'm lying. If there are no people there who are camped there, you should respond, deny to say, no, there are no people. There are no people. And let's see where we will go. Because at the end of the day, I may have no choice but to review the hotel and review the number of rooms. The number of rooms. I will uh, I, I want you to respond I want to, I'm not insulting you by, by HH here I'm not insulting anyone I'm telling you what I know so there are people there and these people they are trying to put up data so that they can go and remove the immunity of Edgar Lungu. They are working on a, what, what you may call a prima facie case. They are building a case which Baaka in the can take to parliament. But this is not motivated by the fact that there is a, a Edgar Lungu is corrupt. No. It is motivated by jealousy of Baaka in the It is motivated by, you know, Baaka in the trying to trying to exonerate himself that no, all this suffering that you are going through, it is because Edgar Lungu has stolen money. That is what he wants to do. He wants to come up with that. to say, no, 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 you are suffering. We have failed to do this. We have failed to do this because, because Edgar Lungu has stolen money. That is what he wants to do. That is what he wants to do. So now these people, they are working with these companies that have been these private auditing firms, they, they have looked everywhere. There is nothing. So now they have gone into the military. That's where they have gone. Into the defense. They have gone into the defense because according to them, this is where, I remember the, 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 the jet that we are talking about? Remember what Vaka in the HNMA said? So he wants to come with that. But the challenge that he has is that he cannot just pick up some papers and say, no, Edgar Lungu stole this, 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 this. He has to come up with a smart way of bringing out this information. This is how they decided to go and bring their friendly, friendly auditing firms and send them into the defense force. Ask yourselves in Gandewe, if you are able to reason, to reason, ask yourself, why did this government subcontract private auditing firms to go and audit the defense? Why? What is the agency? What has happened? Why? Munja Suke, yeah? you, you respond to me. Why is this government going into the military at this point in time to go and do audit what has necessitated that can somebody answer that what necessitated that what necessitated that what is the agency why are those private companies going into the defense to audit it is because President Haka Inde Ichirema has an agenda to build a case against Edgar Lungu. So those people, there was those auditors. They are working with those guys that are camped at that named hotel at Crossroad. They are going in there, collecting data. They come in the night and they sit to build a case. This is what is going on. This is what is going on. Therefore, our government, I want the, the, the minister of, of information, I want a state house to respond. If you don't have this agenda, tell us if you don't have this agenda. Tell us if there are no government officials being uh, 
being accommodated at that named hotel on crossroad tell us why those private auditing firms have gone into the defense tell us what is the agency tell us what is the purpose of that audit tell us if i'm lying tell us don't come with wakapokola no kunjikata respond that is how democracy works. Respond. You didn't want me to talk about this on Sunday because you saw me. You saw me hovering around that hotel. You saw me. You, you, you picked it up that I've picked up this information and you didn't want me to talk about it. That is why State House in, instructed Siandenge and Siandenge instructed Yui. And you saw what happened. You were surprised. I'm sure all of you were surprised. Why are they doing all this? They were doing all this because they didn't want me to talk about it. And they beat me up so that I can talk, I cannot talk about it. But no, sorry. You can beat me all you want. Like I told you by Yui, I told you. You can beat me all you want. I would never stop. You, you were beating me and I told you. And imagine this man. Can you imagine? I mean, after he was beating me, beating me. And I was responding to him. I was standing up to him. He says, I think Vinyanga. Can you imagine? Eh? A senior police officer. I think Vinyanga. Eh? Search him. And they had to undress me. They had to undress me to check if I've got it, if I've got the two on me. I mean, and this is, I mean, this is a police, a senior police officer is thinking like that. You are beating up a person, and because he's able to stand against you, you think he has got Vinyanga, and you start undressing me. They undressed me in that office with a number of police officers. I protested. This is this is inhuman. You can't be undressing me. At no once in the fever moon. Who tell, who tells you that because you are a man you must see my 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 thing? Eh? Who tells you that? Do you think my thing I want just to be showing it around? Do you think just because you are a, you are a police officer you have got a right a right to see my thing? That is torture. That is an inhuman. You don't do that to a person. But I was undressed and I protested. I protested. I was undressed because this Yui in his mind, because I was standing up to him, he thought I've got Vinyanga. And you say, this is the man that should be a director of investigation. This is, I mean, you can even imagine. I don't know what IQ is that. You are beating up a person. You are assaulting a person. He stands up to you. You think you no, know, he has got Vinyanga. Undress him. Let's see if he has what he, what he has. Hmm? I don't. I don't really blame so much the junior officers. I don't blame so much the junior officers because they were being instructed by this man who thought he was invisible. No, Amdala, you are just human like me. You are just human like me. You could be anything, but as far as I'm concerned, you are just human like me. And you are a citizen like me. You are not above the law. You are not above the law. What you did was very wrong. You are so basic in your thinking. So basic. At Vinyanga. Vinyanga for what? You are undressing me Vinyanga. Looking for Vinyanga. And you call yourself. A senior police officer. Honestly. A commissioner for that matter. So, they didn't want me to talk about this. But this is what it is, and I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you, and I'm giving it from, my, from me. Not from anyone or whatever, from me. I went through that evidence. I went through that evidence. And what you must know is that whenever you are doing some of these things, it's not everyone who is happy. It's not everyone who is happy. Don't think that everyone hates Edgar Lungu. Don't think that everyone can be bought because you have put them in a nice hotel. 
and you are busy trying to fabricate cases against Edgar Lungu, and you think everybody is, is happy. No. So some of them are not happy. And they told me, they told me that look what we are doing here, building up a case against this man. And so far we haven't found anything. But it's like we have to find something against Edgar Lungu and his, his colleagues, Mpoha, Uliasa Venda, that's a Venda man. Those are the people that you are targeting. You are targeting Mpoha, you are targeting Edgar Lungu, you are targeting Findlay, you are targeting those people. You want to link, and you want to link some of these things to those cases to say the money was coming from, from the defense. They stole money from the defense. That is what you want to do. That is a plan that you have. That is why you have brought Grand Thornton and the Price Water into, into the defense. You want to find a way of bringing out this and build a case against Edgar Lungu. You respond. You respond. I'm challenging you. Respond. If what I'm saying is not true, respond. Respond, my Mukasuke, to say no, what Tayari said is not true. We are not building up a case against Edgar Lungu. You respond. You respond if there are no people right now at whatever, a urban. Of course, I mean, I'm just saying now because yesterday, I only came out yesterday and I've not been able to go there. But at least on Sunday, I went there. On Sunday, I went there. And I confirmed this. Because when people give me information, me, I want, to, I want to verify. So I go out there to verify. And I checked. And yes, I found them. And this guy told me about these things that, that are now coming out of whatever. From the defense. Because of the failure of Vaka in the HLM. Vaka in the HLM has failed to rule this country. Ufi now upua. He has lied, he has lied, he has lied. Ufi watashani buapua. He has got nothing more to lie against. So the only thing now is to go. Ukuya wushe file, ukuya wushe mwine. Ed galungu ulele. Ukuya mwusha. Ukuisa mwika pa on the center. So that people can start throwing stones at him to say, hey, walivile, walivile. So that they can forget about fertilizer. So that the farmers can forget about the fertilizer. So that the youths can forget about the employment that they were promised. So that the youth, so that the youth can forget about the empowerment that they were that they were promised. But that is not the way we rule a country, Watata. Tefo fiwomba. Ganao filwa. Kufileka. Kufileka tawe na filwa. Avfeld. Can we have an early election? Can we have an early election? We can have an early elections. There are candidates. We have got people. We are not running short of people that can run Zambia. At the rate at which we are going, now I know in Zambia I can even do better. I always look at myself to say I'm not yet ready. Indeed, I'm not ready. So some of you will say, ah, but you're also a president. Why are you supporting another president? No, 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 no. Who president Tewaku Butukila? Don't rush to become a president. That's why people fail. A lot of people just jump. No, I want to become a president. Uh 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 uh. Take a name. President T, it's not a, a child's play. You need to be ready in many ways psychologically, financially, uh, experience, wisdom, spiritually. In many ways, you need to be ready. President is big. So that's why you see me at the moment. I'm not excited to become a president. I'm not. I'm not. That's why I'm pushing Bambi to say, let others go. Our quite a experience. And at the moment, that's why I, I talk about Mundubire to say Mundubire. Because when I look at Mundubire, I mean, he has got that maturity, he has got that experience. I mean, of course, I'm not saying others cannot be. I'm not saying others cannot be. There are so many other people that can make good presidents. Avena Kalava. Vamdala wa Fred Membe. Wa Fred Membe, come on. Vamdala wa lavari kwa tamano. Bad. Fred Membe, when I'm talking to Fred Membe, the intelligence, the experience, the wisdom. Ish. 
Ngumva kwa tindela nda na lesa ka. Nga ndela nda na Fred. Ndala alikuwa tamanuki. Alikuwa tamanu. Elo alikuwa ta experience. Elo alikuwa ta data. Bad kind. Bad kind. I respect him very much. I respect him very much. So, I am not, I am not uh, excluding others to say, I want to be there. I was talking to Wakambuid. Because some of you, you think that Wakambuid, you know, whatever, whatever. No, no, no. Wakambuid is my brother. Wakambuid is my brother. Whether what or what is my brother, Wakambuid. Kutituala kandu, whatever, whatever, is my brother. And I appreciate you, Wamdala Wakambuid. Even the conversation that we had yesterday, Wamdala, thank you very much. Thank you. You cancelled me. You spoke a lot of good things. I'm looking forward to the to, to, to our meeting. I'm I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. So the point is that we have we have not run short of leaders. Uh -uh. We have got so many leaders that can rule this country. What you can do is to let go of the country. Let us have early elections. Instead of, instead of you being bitter with us, when we talk, you are arresting us. You are spoiling our democracy. You want to bring dictatorship. We cannot go to dictatorship. Zambia has never been a dictator. Namuliwa Kaunda, it was not dictatorship. Namuliwa Kaunda, Tafiarifi, the way you are brutalizing, the way you are treating us, it was not like that. So we can't have dictatorship if you have failed please let go of this country let others come and run it you can't go umuntu mwe wa ikalila ali ikalila uli edgalungu ali ikalila ndemebe chinga ali ikalila muna ibe most of the times you know i when i speak to some of you these people who are close to you Hey, no, no, Edgar Lung wants to come back. Edgar Lung doesn't want to come back. He doesn't want to come back. He doesn't want to come back. He doesn't want to If you come back, you are the only one who can beat this man and you can... Alikana. Alikana. He told me no. He refused. He refused. Edgar Lung refused. And there is no one I can challenge anyone to stand up today and say Edgar Lungu told me to say hey, I want to come back or whatever, whatever. He has refused. And he doesn't want to do anything with politics. So why are you dragging him? Why are you trying to use him as your escape goat? It's being bad-hearted. It's being bad-hearted. He's being bad-hearted. And, uh, and I get shocked with that man, the way he talks positively of the president. He has so much respect for the president. He has so much respect. And he even talks, no, you know, Kutnava for, you know, like, I'm like, this man, honestly, you are talking about helping this man? You are talking about helping Haka in the with the way he's treating you? But that is Ed Galungu. That is Ed Galungu. I mean, Uriam Dara Nayana Uriam. Nayana Katushfele Sofa Mpanga. Seriously. I don't know how God made that man, but that man is special in his own way. His heart, his softness. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know how God made him. I don't know how God made him. But anyway, that is aside. The point is, Nyawa Walefirwa, this man who is failing, who is now. Wanting to use other means to absorb his failure. To absorb his failure. He's gagging us so that we don't talk about his failures. He's gagging us so that we don't expose his plans, his evil plans. He's gagging us. He's sending people like Yui. Giving them instructions. Make sure you treat him bad. Make sure you teach him a lesson. Ndara ifo katuipa afi mdara haka inde ichini. Mana papa, ukatuipa apofi. Ukatuipa apofi. Elonga watuipa ya. Katuishifi katumbuka. Because you might think, anga naka soti naka nanga kafu wa nisha. Uka dawa. Uka ila pwile umurilo parukasa. Uka ila pwile umurilo parukasa. Because umuropa wa mtopa ule itika. 
Mula po amuto po ule utika. Avan tu tavala la fi yo. Avan tu tavala la fi. Uka papa. Uka papa na bama ewa mtinta waka kwa lukida. Bama ewa mtinta waka kwa lukida. Ah ah. No 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 no. No no you just never know. Because I'm sure bama ewa mtinta na mena wala tamba kwefi. Nga ndela ndapa. Sorry mina mena wala tamba bama ewa mtinta. Eh. Yero waka mwane pati yo chiru fi ala mbala la. Vai pawa haka inde ichire. Ha. Eh. Yeah. Muka isanga mna nika ni ma problem nkwete komuno munganda. So that is the story. That is the issue my, my brothers and sisters. That Vahaka Inde Ichirema has gone into the defense to come up with something to implicate President former president Edgar Lungu. Now, you see Vahaka Inde Ichirema being emotional, being emotional, being bitter, he forgets something that is very, very important. Because for him, He's looking at fixing Ed Galungu. He goes and asks his friends, you know, Grant Thornton and Pricey uh, Waterhouse Coopers. Those are his friends. He asks them, go guys, come and build a case so that I can go and fix this guy. But he has forgotten that where he has sent his friends, that, he, that place is sacrosanct. It is a shrine. It is a shrine of our country, a shrine of our security. You don't send foreigners into the defense. You don't. You don't send foreigners into the defense. You just don't do it. It's a no, 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 no. When you are going into the military, Pageti, they ask for your NRC. If you are a foreigner, you want to go in. A foreigner to go in there, he needs special permission. But because of your bitterness, you have forgotten about, you know, our secrecy, our sovereignty. Our sovereignty lies in the military. The military protects our sovereignty. That is a job of the of the of the defense. The defense, the job of a defense is to protect our country. Our sovereignty is protected by the, by the defense. But because of your bitterness, that is why you have sent foreigners now. You have sent foreigners in there. And that is why I was saying what you are doing is treasonous. What you are doing is treasonous. And if you get out of power, you can be arrested for treason. You can be arrested for treason for sending foreigners into the defense. You can be arrested. You can be arrested. But I'm sure Munduvire is a gentleman. I'm sure Munduvire is a gentleman. Munduvire would not be bitter like you. Would not waste his time to start following you. Eh? He will not for you not waste time to start following you. And I'm sure I will be part of the next government. Ichochena, I'm sure. Ichochena, I'm sure that the next government, whether government, whether the president will be Fred Membe, whether president will be Harry Kalawa, whether president will be Sean Tembo, whether president will be a uh, Savoy Imbolera, Shalakateka. Whoever will come, Slavwe, eh, even Dala Cosmo, even Cosmo Mumba Kuchawa, why not? Why not? But whoever is going to come, whoever is going to be president, I am going to be in that government. I am not, I am going to be in that government. That is for sure. I am going to be in that government. But in that government, I will make sure that President Haka Inde Ichirema is not roughed up. President Haka Inde Ichirema is respected. I will, re, I, will, I will defend President Ichirema in that new government. I'm supporting you. 
and most likely na chimone kafiech you you might be president very soon because wa ka inde chirema chirema ne ka ba firwa and zambians might just say ah ha ka inde chirema serako so mutampo ku ipekanya ba mundu bile tampenyu ku ipekanya ba mundu bile brand mundu bile start preparing yourself because the, at the rate at which we are going, Zambians might say, we are cutting your contract. We are cutting your contract and you might become president. But okay, fine. Now, we to 26. The point I'm trying to tell you, Amundubile, is that I know you will not leave me out of your government or whoever will be president. But one thing that I'm promising is that as much as I am hammering as much as I am exposing Vahaka in the Ichilema, I will not stand to see Haka in the Ichilema persecuted. I will not stand it. I will defend him. The same way I defended him when he was arrested for treason. I will defend him because we need to move away from this culture of, you know, perse persecuting former presidents. I think we need to we need to give them respect. We need to create that is an institution. That is an institution. Former president is an institution, it's part of government. We must give them the respect. That is the only way. That is the only way we are going to be respected. Atubu fumu. We chindiko win. If you don't respect yourself, others will not respect you. If we are not going to respect our former leaders or our leaders. Others will not respect our leaders. So, Vaka in the yes, I am saying Vaka in the and we should have early elections. This is what I'm saying. But in Gawafumapo, we must respect him. Even if he has ruled only for one year, Bamdala, we must respect him. He's our seventh president. We cannot take away that from him. So, I will defend him. So, whoever is going to be in power, Bamum Dubilenga Mwaisa. We are going to, to make sure that Haka Inde Ichinema is protected. If Haka Inde Ichinema is not protected, I will resign. Me, I will resign. If we don't hold on to whatever we promise, whatever we tell people, Ine Kutsa resign. I will not be like Haka Inde Ichinema. He makes promises and he doesn't fulfill them. And when he fails, he is making excuses. He is even taking people to offer them as sacrificial lambs. That is not the way it is supposed to be. So, now the issue is, you have made a big mistake. You have made a big mistake, a mistake which you must rescind. I don't know how far you have gone, but you must rescind. I don't know how you are going to do it, but you, you must rescind. This decision of keeping those foreigners in the, in the defense, that decision must be rescinded. And you Zambians, including you, Press singers, please, you love Haka in the Ichirema, which is okay, it is your democratic right. It's okay to love Haka in the Ichirema, that's fine with you. We have got different preferences, you know, just like others. That's fine. That's okay. We have got different preferences. But on such matters, this is a national issue. Zambians, in, in spite of whoever you support, in spite of whoever, whichever political party or, pre, or leader you support, on this one, Zambians, I'm saying, na papata, can we all unite and tell Waka in the Ichilema to remove those foreigners, to remove those foreigners from the defense. We cannot have foreigners, you know, looking at our secrets. We are compromising our sovereignty. We are compromising our sovereignty. We can't go on with that one. Now, Papa, the Zambians on this one, can we tell, can we speak the loudest? Can we speak the loudest so that we tell Vaaka in the Ichirema that they should remove those foreigners in, in the defense? I know Nganimu Parliament 
You could hear my one mango standing up and saying, No, Price Water Coopers and the Grand Thornton. Yes, it is a foreign company, but the people who are working are Zambians. Because my one mango sometimes those are the kind of answers that she gives. Look, if you are working for an international company, you could be a Zambian. But you have to protect the interest of that in that company. Of that international company. When you are working, it is as good as when you work for South African Embassy. Eh? I can talk about South Africa because they are my friends. If you, are, if you are a Zambian working in the South African Embassy, when you enter there, you have to operate as a South African. You protect South African interest. You don't protect Zambian interest. You protect South African interest. So it's the same thing. Those people who are working for Grand Thornton and the PWC, those, those Zambians, much as they may be Zambians, they are serving an interest of this international company, which, which holds its headquarters in, in Europe. So they are not Zambians. You can't say no, they are Zambians. No. They are collecting information, whatever information that they collect, it at the end of the day, it goes to their force headquarters. That's why it goes. It goes outside the country. And that, my brothers and sisters, don't think it is easy. It is very serious. In the defense, it is very, very serious. Very serious. You may not realize, because when you are hearing auditing, auditing, Ah, no, they are just auditing. You need to realize what information they have access to. When people are auditing, you know what, they, what information they look for? They get all the information. You can't, you can't say this is an auditor and you, you prevent them from seeing certain things. No. Then you'll be jeopardizing the, the, the audit. You give them all the information. They check how much money comes in. They check how much money comes in and where that money comes from. So as auditors, they will know where our defense gets all the money and how much. They will know. From there, they will know where the money is spent. So there is no secret when you're talking about we want to know where the money goes. There is no secret to say, no, 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 we can't tell you. Uh, uh, there is this uh, two million. No, we can't tell you what we bought. No. If you say, no, we bought guns. They will ask you how many guns. No, they, we bought 400 guns, AK-47s. They will say, let's go and see them. You can't say, no, no, they are at our bank or you can't go there. They will say, maybe you didn't buy. That's what they will say. If you say, no, 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 we can't see the guns. I mean, how are we going to prove that you bought the guns? Can we go down to your bankers? Can we go down to your bankers? They will go down where we hide our arsenals. Where we hide our guns, they will have to go down there. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. They will go there and they look. Oh, yeah, these are the guns. Eh? Okay, so these are the guns that you bought. If we bought bombs, for example, because it's part of defense, it's part of arsenal. Bombs, countries are bombs. If we bought bombs, those auditors, those foreigners, they will ask you, ah, what about this 5 million? No, we bought bombs. Oh, you bought bombs from where? No, we bought bombs from Russia. Where are they? They will have to go down wherever you have hidden those bombs to go and see those bombs. They will have to see the bombs. Oh, so these are the bombs. Oh, how many are they? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so as Zambia, you have 10 bombs, eh? Okay. And they are writing. They are writing. Oh, no. 
what else uh, what else did you buy oh no we bought a machine this machine it it helps us to listen what other countries are, are discussing these are part of things that happen in the defense eh? countries listen to other countries conversations how are they going to intercept you know attacks how are they going to intercept attacks if they don't listen countries collect intelligence information they collect intelligence information from other countries when other countries are talking there are machines that they intercept to listen what is currently going on who is planning to attack us this happens in countries and it is a secret but those machines they are bought with government money and when you send an auditor an auditor will ask where is that machine which type of machine do you have or oh, it is air it is intel or it is samsung and when they collect this kind of information when they collect this kind of information this information can be very good information to sell to other countries because if you have a, let's say a machine that intercepts signals those machines it's very difficult i'm speaking as an it for example as an it person to break the codes to to hack into that machine it is difficult to get it if you don't know the the the, the, the brand name if you don't know the brand name but ngawai shwat oh it is an a samsung or it is it is it is an iphone if you know then you know where to start then it's easy you just go and see the architecture of that of that of that brand and you can be able to dismantle the codes and you can get in this is what Waaka in the Ichilema is exposing us to and that's why I'm saying it's treason it's treason you don't do that you don't do that you can't do that but when you are crowded by emotions when you are just thinking of fixing others you you don't think about these things ngatwaebati job on training apprentice eine ukana ishwa we know how to take a chart, how to how to rule a country you make such grave mistakes this is a grave mistake it's a grave mistake big mistake you just don't do that you don't you can't how i just can't believe it i can't i can't believe it but this is a situation my brothers and sisters this is a situation this is what we are dealing with this is what we are dealing with Baka in the Ichirema doesn't seem to know these things. He is crowded by his emotions. And that's why I'm saying, Baka in the Ichirema, if you remove emotions from your presidency, you can have a chance of leading this country better. And you can make some of us keep quiet. I am talking about this because of your emotions. I'm talking here because of your failures. If Baka in the Ichirema, you were not failing, you would be too busy counting out your promises. But because you have failed, you don't even know where to touch. That's why you have got so much time to be engaging Navenasi and Dengue, to be dealing with Chirufia Tayari. How can the president, the entire president of a country, be busy on Chirufia Tayari? Busy paget now we can two hours two hours now we can paget, eh? Because you don't have anything to do. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to invest that human resource. Balawaka pokola, baadim ba imini ne papa pana mika ne paria. That is a sheer waste of resources. Sheer waste of resources. All because of emotions. All because of failure. All because of insecurity, 
fear is going to expose me. If you are doing the right thing, when I say I'm going right, live for 20 hours, you would be happy. You would be happy. You would be happy. You would, be happy. You would, you, you would tell my mom, Tinta, please make a cup of tea. Tayari is going to go live. And you'll be watching comfortably, enjoying with a cup of tea. Because I'll be talking about good things about you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you do the right thing, so I will be coming live to, to praise you. To praise you. And you watch this with an easy heart. Relaxed. Enjoying. As I'm talking. But now each time you hear 20 hours. Hey, si amdengi, come on. Hey, hey. Muambo kula utauka. Why? Is it because of me? It is because of your failure. That is why you are under pressure. Those of you are saying, no, stop fighting the government. Hey, turn down. Turn down if you she vale rufiana turn down. I will not turn down when they are messing up. I will not turn down. No, I won't. I will turn down if they are doing the right thing. I will turn down. And if anything, I will not turn down because you know, I will come out and 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 praise you. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. This talking I'm doing, I will come here and praise you. That's what I'll do. If you are doing the right thing, but how can I come and praise you? Mula ingishama foreigners. Multi fence, you are exposing our 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 our, our security. You are compromising our sovereignty. People are going to know what we have. Whether we are rich, you know, militarily. And the country, the powerfulness of a country is in the, in the capacity of its military. A country is feared based on what is the capacity of the military. That is important information that any country wants to have. And any country wants to protect itself. They want to, they want to guard that. Because in Gawai Shiva, if people know, know our capacity, I mean, Papa Zambia, there is nothing there. Let's just cut copper belt, Iria copper belt, let's have it. But Congo, they will get it. Let's just get Congo. They can't do anything, they can't fight. Ah, why are you saying they can't fight? Ah, you, we got information. They have got two missile launchers, whatever, whatever, they don't have and missiles. They don't have what, what, so ah, they can't do anything. That's what you're doing. You're exposing it. And you want me to keep quiet? You want me to sober down? What am I going to sober down? How can I sober down? I've got foreigners compromising my country. Where will I be? Where will I go? I want to be president in next 10 years, 10, 15 years. I want to be president. Now, if he, my sovereignty is compromised, where am I going to be president? Eh? Where am I going to be president? I must protect it now. That's why I'm talking. I must protect it now. So I will not sober down. I will not turn down. As long as, as long as Vaaka in the is doing wrong things. I will not sober down. I will talk. If you want, come and arrest me. But you know, these arrests at the end of the day, they will cost you. They will cost you. Eh? Already I was there. And human rights are talking. The other time I came. Niba nanikani. Niba IMF who are calling me. Eh? And you are looking for money for I, from IMF. These things the IMF. They will use these very things to say. Uh -uh, your human rights is not good. Your record is not good. Remember this loan that you have, that you have signed for. is conditional. It's based on. You delivering on certain things. If you don't deliver, you know, those benchmarks, you won't get that money. And at the rate at which you are going, your human rights record is going down. You will end up losing this IMF. You don't even have plan B. If you lose IMF, because of Tayari, you can't lose IMF. 
What happened there? People were seeing. The world saw it. That IP, that Piri, the journalist, he was caught by CNN. He was talking to CNN yesterday. He was talking to CNN. And him you don't realize. And those police officers, they can't realize. They don't know. They didn't even. I mean, how do you touch a journalist? Him, how do you touch a journalist? Eh? You, you, you haven't seen how journalists are, are protected. You haven't learned. Eh? Journalists are highly protected throughout the world. That IP may be small. You might look at him, but that is a senior journalist. That is a senior journalist. You touch that guy, you are touching fire. But of course, what do you expect when you have people at police commission? Eh? 2033. What do you expect? Promoted based on tribe. Oh. What do you expect? Promoted based on tribe. There are some young people who can be in those offices and they can do much better than that man. Hmm? That man, do you know me? Do you know me? Eh? Where is my Zulu? Eh? He couldn't even tell my Zulu is snoring. Oh, 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 I've got nothing to do with the personality of Aka Inde Ichirema. I've got nothing to do with it. Nothing. There is nothing personal between me and Aka Inde Ichirema. There is nothing. I'm talking about him as a president. And right now, he's messing up. He's messing up by taking those foreigners in there. Or because he wants to fix Ed Galungu. The best that you should do with Ed Galungu is to leave him in peace. Is to leave him in peace. Just leave that man. Just leave that man. If you don't want to respect him, forget about him. Just forget that he exists. It's okay. You don't even have to force yourself. Birthday, whatever. Best wishes on your page. When you know that, I mean, you are, you are, you are scheming something against this man. You don't do that. That's why he said you are hypocrites. So you can, if you want, you can forget about him. But the best that you can do Look at Ruto. Ruto is respecting um, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Look at what he's doing there. Learn from, uh, from, from, from Ruto. Give that man the respect. And people will love you for it. Give him the respect. Give him the office. Give him the vehicles. Give him the staff. Establish his office as, you know, the 60th president. And just give him that respect. You gain more. Zambians are peaceful people. Zambians are loving people. They don't like it when you are brutalizing others. If you don't know, even me, some of them, they didn't like me. But thanks to you, because of your brutality, now other people love me. Now other people love me because of your brutality. They love me. Thanks to you. Other people didn't like me. Other people didn't even pay attention to me. They were just thinking, ah, nika joker, nika joker, ah, nika political comedian. Now they are looking, hey, hey this guy, ah, eh? Even those who used to think that, yo, njikara muko mpound muli koloboy. Now they have seen that, oh, na nikwata na CCTV. Na bamba no kunti na no. Na bamba na, hey, baka poko la, two hours na weka la, febade mulo rena. They have seen, they have given me respect, thanks to you. Thanks to you. But this is not the way it should be. This is not the way it should be. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Respect people, especially a person like a former president. Concentrate on things that people want. We are talking about to Rwanda. There is no fertilizer. Eh? Tulelanda is no fertilizer. You think people will, will put fertilizer, the prosecution of Ed Galungu, into their, into their, into their, into their, their, their crops. Eh? Is that what will turn into fertilizer? The day that you arrest Ed Galungu, all the farmers, their fields will be green. 
with the healthy crops because Ed Galungu you have arrested him. Because you have arrested Ed Galungu, you think the young people will have money in their pockets. Oh, because Ed Galungu is, is arrested, you think the youths will have jobs out of that. What is it going to do to this country? What good is it going to be if you arrest that man? You think you can sustain the lie? You can sustain it for one day. Yes, people will be excited. Oh, Edgar Lungu, what, 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 what? But you know, before they know it, they will start asking, so what? What is this benefiting us? And you can work up zero, I'm done. Palasta, I'm to come in and I'm in at your tired, seditious. You are being seditious. I'm not being seditious. It's you who is being seditious by running this country poorly. You are being seditious. But I can tell you, you don't even need to arrest me. You don't even need to arrest me. You don't even need to charge me anything if you are delivering. People will not come to watch what I'm talking about. They will not be watching. They will not be wasting our bundles. They will not be wasting our bundles. In the they will not be buying bundles to come and watch me talk. If you are delivering, they will not. But look, upon the water and the water, it's, I think in a one hour, they are still here watching. But they tamba. Because you are not delivering Dala. You are not satisfying them. Eh? Chimone idea kwa matha, idea kwa matha, idea ile chitika. Nga ta ufikile pota ule, fika pota ule, fika pota ule. Bambi kukua fwa. Eh, ifiwa haka inde ichile maturee miyafo kuteka. Na mufiwa mule firwa. So nomba wa mtu wale isa kudifu nombo wale tamba. Nisa jia kwa tamba tamba imwe. You are failing. When you see this waka in the HLM, I'm telling you, it means you are failing. This is the evidence. The fact that people at 20 hours are able to come and watch that I'm watching from Tanzania. Instead, Tanzania, he's watching me. Because waka in the HLM, namu firwa. You don't need to arrest us. You don't need to arrest us. You don't. You just have to do the right thing. Deliver. You fertilize yo. Deliver. Let people receive these things. Let them receive. If you have got a challenge, tell the people the truth. Tell the people the truth. Not mwamokula wawepa. No, fertilizer. Hey, you receive by the end of this week. By the end of this, this week, that minister was making statements two weeks ago. Up to today, they haven't received. No, we are still giving enough fertilizer and yet I want to never pay that fertilizer. Yeah, Pimish. You are giving fertilizer. Muli tuma me die. Yeah, Pimisha. Tuma tuma packets. Emu muli wa pay. And you are lying to say, no, no. We are giving them eh, six bags. And yet you are giving fertilizer. Mumbale. Emu muli wa pay. If you have got problems, tell people the truth. That is leadership. No to wufi. Mwai kandila fio wufi. Mwai kandila fio wufi. Ufi weka weka wa mdala. Chava shani. Tulande kwa tiyo mwikaten. Awe. That is not how we rule a country. That is not how we rule a country. I'm not yet ready, but certainly, even if I were to be there, I wouldn't rule like you. I would do much better. I would do much better. Hmm? Our young people, they have got nothing to do. Wale children in Salavaj. Ama prisons na yesula. Our prisons are full. Ama cells, they are full. Go and check what are the crimes which are filling up our youths. You know, in these prisons. Go and check. Petty cases. 20 kwacha. Bags of cement. I had, them, I had that boy. Two bags of cement. How much is two bags of cement? It's just about 300 kwach. 300 kwach. But the boy is rotting, is there 10 days because of two bags of cement. The other boy, I mean, he couldn't pay rent. 150. He ended up going to steal Ama Bagla Baz Paven. Worth how much? 120. And I found him. He was there. How many days? Seven days. 
These are the cases had in Munanikan. Muma sales. Thank you, Jack Mwimbu. Jack Mwimbu, Nde Kutasha. Jack Mwimbu, Nde Kutasha. At least you have closed the ka Kamwala. Jack Mwimbu, thank you for closing Kamwala. Kamwala was a hell. But Jack Mwimbu, you have closed Kamwala. Thank you very much, Jack Mwimbu. I know some people didn't understand when I said I want to send a hundred quarter to Jack Mwimbu. They didn't know what I was talking about. What I meant is, I was happy that Jack Mwimbu has closed Kamwala remand prison. Kamwala remand prison has been closed. It was hell. And you remember when I came out, I was, I was here talking about it. I was here talking about it. I complained bitterly on Kamwala remand prison. So I'm so happy to hear that, not to hear actually, to see that it is closed. And the prisoners were taken to, to Mwembeshi. And whilst I was there, I met with some two guys who came from there. I'm an IPs who were going. And they told me, life there is okay. They are sleeping well. The yards is good. Sanitation is good. Whatever, whatever. Mushema Jack Mwimbu kutina watuka. Eh? Nanguna alipena, even if I'm mad. Am I going, how, how can I go in, how can I say bad things about Jack Mwimbu? I can't say Jack, any, something bad. And I'm, and I'm praising Jack Mwimbu because I know this is within the minister. This is within the minister. These are some of the strides that ministers, you know, work on. And that's why I'm praising Jack Mwimbu. But when it comes to Yui, I cannot blame Jack Mwimbu. When it comes to Yui, I cannot blame Jack Mwimbu because Jack Mwimbu does not control Yui. Yui is controlled by by, by the president. The police are under the president. Is the chief who is the commander in chief. So I cannot talk about Jack Mwimbu. So don't don't get it wrong. I can't talk about Jack Mwimbu when you is beating me. I can't. You is not controlled by Jack Mwimbu. But Jack Mwimbu sets out policy on prisons and whatever, whatever. And that's why I'm saying thank you for closing Kamwala. Thank you for closing more come on. And Jack Wimbu, you know, that, that's why Nalimu Temako, because, you know, he, he scores in, in his own way. I know he's not the best, I know some of you complain, and no, he, he hasn't done much from in his constituency, but he really, as a minister, he scores in his own way. And he knows what he's doing. And this is what experience does. Because Jack Wimbu has got experience. That's why they want to think. I think we need somebody who is experienced. That is the issue. Mm. So, but Jack Mwimbu, thank you very much for closing Kamwala. Thank you. Now, the issue where we have, which we need to look at, which, why I'm even talking about Baka in the Ichinima, is that Ama prisons na Yesula, we have got a lot of young people who are in prison for petty, for petty issues. Petty, petty issues. Petty issues. Can we see how we can empower these youths. Can we find them something to do? If we don't find them something to do, they will continue stealing. Utuma side mirrors, you know, clothes, simple, simple things. And when they go in, when they go muscles, back up, they are not releasing them. They are not releasing them. Because senior police officers who are supposed to supervise the junior police officers are busy chasing politicians. You see? You see the inefficiency? Our cells are full. Go to any cell. They are full. With youths on petty issues. Police officers are not being professional. They are not releasing them. They are not releasing them. Why? Because the senior police officers, they are busy chasing police officers. They are busy chasing politicians. Like Savoy, Chirufetari, Sean Tembo, eh, Kambuidi. They are busy chasing these people. Instead of supervising junior officers, Icharo na chisasa, na chisasa. Vaka inde ichirema. Please wake up. Please wake up. Deliver on your promises. Deliver on your promises. You promise these young people jobs. You promise these young people eh, empowerment. Look at Black Mountain. 
You are saying you have empowered people at Black Mountain? I was in Kitwe. And people are complaining. They are saying, no, they don't know who is eating the money at the Black Mountain. And the youths who used to be at Black Mountain, Balimuma sales. That is the situation. Why youth you are never in Black Mountain, Balimuma sales right now. Because there is no empowerment there. There is no empowerment. Your promise is fake. It's a lie. Your promises are lies. And as long as you don't fulfill on those promises, I'll be here talking. As long as I'm alive, I will come here, I'll talk. But I'll come here and talk. I'll come here and talk. This is my country. I have to do what I have to do for my country. And I'm ready to die for my country. I'm ready to die for my country. Fulfill those promises. You will not see me talking against you. It's not personal. Uh -uh. It's not personal. I'm going to die for my country. I'm going to die for my country. So, it's, not, it's nothing. It's nothing personal. I'm going to die it's nothing personal. So all of you, ah, no, stop. Hey, whatever. So, but that, ah, and a papa ta. It's not personal. As long as wrong things are continue happening in this country, I'll keep talking. I'll keep talking. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep talking. I think I've made my points for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. My message in brief is simply to say, I am not fighting Waka in the Ichirema. Waka in the Ichirema need to stop bitterness whereby he's targeting individuals to absorb his failures. He need to stop that. He need to stop following Edgar Lungu. I mean, that man is gone. That man is gone. If there is something to follow. Not Edgar Lungu. Takalete fertilizer, Ed Galungu, Ukuson Somba Ed Galungu will not bring fertilizer. Ukuson Somba Ed Galungu we will not bring, we will not bring empowerment. Ukuson Somba Ed Galungu we will not bring jobs. Ukuson Somba Ed Galungu we will not bring money in people's pockets. It will not. Stop it. Stop exposing our country to foreigners. Everything foreigners, everything foreigners. You have even brought foreigners into our defense to audit our defense. Stop it. It's treasonous. Stop it. Fulfill on the promises that you made to people. And if you do this, I promise you, I'll be one of the praise singers. Praising you, Waka in the for leading this country properly. Because me, I'm a reasonable person, objective person. I'm not like these cadres. Aba mivepa. Ine mivepa fishing. Koko at fertilizer tamula chita deliver. Aba iche valero renchito. Empowerment. Black Mountain. Mufi patala tamuli miti na Sylvia Masebo wenu. Sylvia Masebo. The West Minister we have. Tamuli miti mufi patala. So. Thank you very much and good night. I really appreciate I want to say once again, thank you for joining me. And thank you once again for all of you that backed me up, that stood with me when Vayui and his junior officers, you know, ransacked on me and treated me like an animal. I'm still pursuing the matter. Tomorrow, I'll be discussing with the lawyers and we'll see what we can do. Uh, but we are going to exhaust all avenues to make sure that Vayui realizes that he doesn't own Zambia and he's not above the law and he's supposed to be professional. Thank you very much and good night.